He who have an ear, let him hear. All right, want to touch on idols. Got to stop. Get get rid of these idols, okay? Because uh, a lot of us are worshiping idols and do not even realize it. Got to understand that, you know, if you're worshiping anything that's not, you know, have to do with the Lord, it's an idol, okay? You you have people, they idolize man. You have people that idolize, you know, all kinds of things in this world that they want. And if they don't get it, they feel that their life is over. If they can't be like this man or if this man doesn't succeed, then their life is over. That's a form of of idolatry that you have to get away from. Okay. You got to understand that in the wilderness, you know, they did a lot of idolatry. They murmured against God and all kinds of things because they didn't have full trust in God. They trust in other things. All right. They even trusted in a bull. In the wilderness. Right? You have to understand that if you're trusting in, in man that has nothing to do with God. You don't know if this man and what he believes in. Maybe he's worshiping a bull like they did in the wilderness. And that's where he's getting his thoughts from. And then you're trusting in him. And then next thing you know, you find out, end up realizing you're actually following a bull. That's why you have to put your trust in that one body of Christ. Okay? When the Lord broke that bread, that was one bread for all. When he gave that cup and drank, that was one cup for all. Okay? These Gentiles, they sacrificed to devils. Okay? So don't just understand that uh, we sacrifice to the Lord. And this is our sacrifice. Our sacrifice is to love, to help each other. When you see our brothers going down the wrong path, to help them out, pick them up. Right? That's the, that's the work that the Lord told us to do. And that's what we have to do. And that's what we have to continue to do and never give up. You know, even if our brother want to go worship an idol and he don't understand that he's worshiping an idol, well, don't give up on him. You know, if he gives up on you, then nothing you can do, but don't give up on him. Because eventually, you know, he's going to be a part of that harvest, of that fruit. And it'll be a part of your fruit that you've brought to the plate. So at the end of the day, you know, it's a lot of people that will say, you know, they'll try to mix in their idolatry with the name of God. And that's been happening since the beginning of time. They mix in their idolatry and say, oh, I'm doing this for God. You're worshiping an idol for God. But you got to understand that you cannot serve the plate, you know, serve the table with the devil and serve the table with God at the same time. Okay, so you got to, so what happens is when these idols are taken away from you, are you going to be in fear? You have to ask yourself that question. Whatever it is that you're putting your trust in that's in this world, regardless of what it is, when it's taken away from you, are you going to be naked? And if you and if your answer is yes, you have to get rid of it and serve God and your Lord God only. A lot of people, you know, they they're searching for help in the wrong ways. Jesus Christ is the vine. He's the only way that you're going to get any kind of help.
No man is going to help you. No idol as far as wood, stone is going to help you. You pray to a, a, a casket. It ain't going to help you. A, a tombstone. It ain't going to help you. It ain't going to help that person that's in the grave. Pray to a statue. It ain't going to help you. Be one in Christ. God bless. Amen.